Hello guys, welcome to AWS Hands On. So in this video, we are going to talk about auto scaling lifecycle hooks. So lifecycle hooks can be a lifesaver for you. Uh, so to give you an example of lifecycle hook, how you how they are useful to us is suppose you have an application, a three tier application which has a web layer, an application server layer, and a DB layer. So you have your web and application layer in auto scaling and they are being served by suppose your web layer is being served by a load balancer and on the web layer you are running say a rails application and there are like say three instances currently behind the load balancer uh, and scale out event happens suppose you have auto scaling group for scale and configure it for auto uh, scale out a scale out event happens and a fourth instance is launched and suppose you have some configuration management tool that configures your instance uh, before it gets attached to the load balancer and comes in service so with lifecycle hooks you can pause the instance state uh, for a period of time where your application is being configured by your configuration management or you are configuring your uh, instance say using user data or any script or uh, it can be anything so there you use lifecycle hook to pause the instance state before it gets in service so before it starts serving the traffic because suppose you have a tomcat application that takes 10 minutes to come up and before that happens, you put that uh, instance in service before your Tomcat application is properly up and you start serving traffic from it. Your customers would get error that this because the application is not yet up. So you wouldn't want that. So to avoid that, we have uh, auto scaling lifecycle hooks that just pause the instance state in the middle of launch and then configure your instance and then put it back into uh, say the running state. So let's see, uh, let's create an auto scaling group and see how lifecycle hook works. So I'll go into auto scaling groups. Uh, if you've seen my last video, you know how to create an auto scaling group. So I already have a launch configuration, so I'll use that same and just name it as first ASG, very creative. I don't want any instances currently. I'm launching it in my default PPC. Let's select a couple of subnets. Rest everything you can leave as default. So next, next, next. Create auto scaling group. So if we go, we can see our auto scaling group is created. Down below, you can see lifecycle hooks. So let's create a lifecycle hook. Name it as first hook. And lifecycle hook you can use while your instance is launching or while you're terminating the instance. So while launching, I've told you why will you use. When will you use your uh, lifecycle hook when your instance is terminated? So suppose you want to get some logs out of your instance or you want to get some file out of your instance before it terminates. So you can use the instance terminate transition instead of. So while your instance is going down, it will pause it. Uh, for some time by default it's one hour so in that time you can log in into that instance get out whatever information you want and then lifecycle hook will just go ahead and terminate that instance so in this example we'll use the instance launch transition by default the time is 3600 seconds which is one hour and default result is abandoned that means if my lifecycle hook activity fails it's going to terminate that instance so it's not going to put that instance in service so this is good actually so suppose if your tomcat application or if your rails application doesn't comes up properly your lifecycle action fails so that instance wouldn't go into service so there is an option if you want to put it in i mean if you're not uh, worried that even if the lifecycle action fails you want to continue so there's an option to you know, select continue and the instance will go in uh, service but here we'll use abandon and let's create so our lifecycle hook is created but currently we don't have any instance so 
to do that i'm going to launch an instance in this uh, asg and that is also very simple i've told you earlier in my videos that you just need to update the desired capacity the minimum capacity and the min maximum capacity and save it and you can see this exclamation mark so the instance must have started launching so i'll pause this video and come back when the instance is up and running welcome back guys so you see our instance has launched itself and now it's in pending wait state so there are basically two states one is pending wait which is which happens when you are launching which is like your scale out event and then there's terminating wait which happens when you have a scale in event so now we come to a point that you wouldn't want your instance to stay in this state for like one hour which is the default time because suppose your user data or your configuration management takes say 10 minutes to complete so after that 10 minutes you would want that instance to go in service or either i mean if it fails you which you want that it should get terminated so how can we do that so there comes a little bit of programming basically so if you are configuring your instance using user data so in your user data you need to pass a command or an api call to aws to make that uh, uh, I mean to complete the lifecycle action so i'll show you via aws cli how we can do it so in our organization we have a lot of scripts using aws cli and we pass those using user data uh, you can do that as a I mean, making an api call to aws uh, if you're using some configuration management tool like ansible or chef you can pass uh, uh, api call to aws to complete the lifecycle action so that depends on you your use case basically in this case, I'll just show you how it's done using AWS CLI. So let's just go to our AWS CLI, our, uh, our terminal. So I'm in my terminal right now. So I have this very cool uh, utility SAWS. I found this on GitHub and I really liked it. So it's more, uh, it's more like an auto completing thing for your AWS CLI. So it automatically completes your AWS CLI commands. So sometimes AWS CLI commands can get very complicated and it's, I mean, you won't expect anyone to remember all those things. So this utility is very great. I mean, you can check this out. So first let's list our lifecycle hooks in our region. So this is the command to list our lifecycle hook. So AWS auto scaling describe lifecycle hooks, auto scaling group name, lifecycle hook name, and let's just see. So you can see our lifecycle hook is there. Uh, EC2 instance launching. So then we have transition state is EC2 instance launching. Now let's just complete the action. So to complete the action, the command would be auto scaling complete lifecycle in the action. Lifecycle action result is continue. So if the lifecycle result could be either continue or abandon. So if I put abandon, it's going to terminate that instance. Then the lifecycle hook name, auto scaling group name, instance ID. So in our case, when we are using our user data, we are getting the instance ID by making an API call to AWS metadata URL. So you must be knowing there's a URL in AWS from where you can fetch the metadata about an EC2 instance. So that's how we are fetching the instance ID. So it either needs an instance ID or there's a thing called uh, lifecycle token. So that you'll get when you Suppose you, I mean, using lifecycle hook, you can trigger a lot of uh, uh, different things like you can trigger a Lambda function or you can trigger an SNS topic. So using the CloudWatch alarm. So there you get a thing called a lifecycle token. So you need to either pass that token or you need to pass the instance ID. So in this case, since we're not using CloudWatch, we will pass the instance ID. So let's just get our instance ID. Paste it here and if I haven't done anything wrong you should be good to go cool so I did not get any errors so this probably should have worked let's go back to our AWS console and refresh and you can see that instance has completed the lifecycle and it's in service now so this is how you can complete your lifecycle action and 
I mean, you have to issue either an API call or this command to complete your lifecycle action. Otherwise, your instance will stay in the pending wait state for at least an hour. And you probably won't want that. Uh, I think this is it for this video, guys. Uh, if I would have missed anything, you can comment and tell me. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends. And probably I'll come up with more uh, videos on AWS. And one thing more, uh, probably from next week, I'll be starting a new series called Linux Hands-On. So I'll be showing you some nitty and gritty things in Linux uh, about networking, some Linux internals, and, and that will be actually really exciting. So thank you for watching, guys, and 